What's up, YouTube? I'm tired. I'm sitting here at the uh, tractor supply in Bell Fountain, Ohio. And uh, I think the dispatcher messed up. She has me here an hour early. So I left at 2 o'clock this morning. I got up at 1. And now I'm sitting here in my cab, just kind of chilling out, waiting on the. Uh, door to my appointments at seven it's six o'clock right now hopefully we'll get here a little early i still have another two and a half hour drive up north to uh almost lake erie and then i go back to pendleton um i want to kind of show you guys what we do here it's really easy um i can't sh there of course they're not unloading right now but i'll show you kind of what happens here when we get the uh get to the store most of the stores have just like regular it's like it's a flat cement dock no inside you have to come outside and you just it's so it's just so easy you know what i mean because all it is is a flat cement outdoor dock you just bump it and they don't even put the dock plate down they just doom, doom, right into your um trailer so i'll see if i can't get up here and try to get you guys shot this actually has a real dock in it which is only the second time i've seen or the trailer tra or the tractor supply company. So as you can see, that's a regular old dock. You come around here. So I wait and I'll head up there to the uh, door there. One thing you cannot do is you cannot bust your seal or open your doors. If you do, they will consider you a thief and they will not take your load so basically i'm just sitting here with my doors closed waiting on them so we can get this done but i'm gonna show you this as you can see i got my seal on there doors closed when it comes time to i'll open up i'll bump the dock there and they'll unload me and i have two loads a day this truck split in half and it i've had this whole truck loaded and it only took them 25 minutes so this may only take about 10 15 minutes and then i'll be on down the road so if they get me in early it'd be nice but that's really it man this that's how easy this job is i'm not joking you drive here you go to the store and they are fast as hell they get on that forklift they get in there they get the pallets out and boom they take off i mean it's it's the easiest money i've ever made in my life you spend like today i'll spend about nine hours driving maybe 10 and i'll probably only spend total 45 minutes getting unloaded between two stops so you can't beat that i mean and then you go home it's it's that easy you go get miles i'll get about 500 miles a day plus two stops which is 30 a piece so that's 600 bucks so you're looking at uh Let's say 260. So you're looking at 250, 55 bucks today. Just easy, easy money. So, I want to give you guys a little shot of that. I didn't want to do it while they were actually working because I don't know how they feel about that. But at least you can see that. But most of the time, man, it's just a dock like you can kind of see how the uh, railing is there. Normally, it's over on this side. You come around the side there, and there'll be like where that is right there. There'll be just a flat ledge that comes all the way across, about as high as that is. With the bumps on it, and they come outside and they unload you, and that's it. So you very, very rarely back into a dock. And I mean, this is like I said, this is only my second time I've had to back into a dock. Not that backing in a dock's hard, but most of them are going to have to deal with it in the winter and the rain outside you know where these guys are lucky they don't have to speaking of which there's a lot of lightning going on i think there's a storm coming this way so it's kind of a good thing i got the dock but i want to give you guys a little heads up about what's going on and show you how easy it really is and how quick these guys are at, at actually getting it done because i'm not joking i've had this whole 53 footer taken care of in 25 minutes and I was out and then you go back home it's it's that easy There's, you don't touch anything you don't do anything you just stand back there while they do it and after they're done you basically sign your paper you put it in your envelope they have a bundle envelope we turn in 
Um, like for instance, this is this is their bill of lading and all their stuff. They'll take their stuff out, sign theirs, put it back in this envelope. I'll put my driver number on there, my truck number, my name, so I get paid for it. And that's it, man. So that's pretty much how it works here at Premier. Um, like I said, I am going to do a recruiting video. Unfortunately, they gave me the wrong information, so I couldn't really do the, the difference between the Midwest Regional and the pay and all that stuff because I don't have the exact numbers and stuff, and I don't want to lie to you guys. So I'll get that done as soon as I can. But, you know, it's a great place. Like I said, I got a 2017 Freightliner. It's one of these day cabs on steroids. That's why I have that small bunk back there. It's it's not a rig, as you guys probably can notice. It's just a small little bunk, but when you're a day cabber, it's nice. Like right now, I'm just gonna pop back here and take a nap till someone comes knock on my door, so. Um, with that said, I'm gonna cut the video off. If you're out there, like I always say, keep her safe, keep between the lines. Don't forget to like and comment. And if you're interested in coming here, let me know, and uh, I'll get you, uh, uh, get your name in and uh, we'll get you down to air orientation and come aboard but I'm telling you Indiana right now they're hurting so bad that they're paying we're getting paid uh, five extra cents a mile for local and seven cents a mile more for uh, Midwest Regional so I'm getting 39 Midwest Regional is getting 44 and you just go up every year after that and then you know the five thousand dollar bonus plus a thousand dollar annual bonus and your health and wellness bonus and your safety bonus so it's real easy easy money and uh nice equipment um a matter of fact i went in friday my my truck was pulling to the right and it was vibrating real bad at 65 and 55 yeah and it was smooth out at 60 and 70 so um they, they, they had it fixed i was coming this morning it was fixed so we have our own maintenance department right there they take care of it and uh oh by the way i don't know if i ever mentioned our trucks run 70 miles an hour so it's nice over here in ohio you can actually run 70 mile an hour on the interstate in your truck so but anyway i'm out of here i'm gonna go catch some z's keep her safe between the lines let me know anything if you uh, have any questions likes comments concerns other than that i'll see y'all next time Bye bye